That was, uh, you know, you go in with a little bit of nerves and anxiousness, don't know what to expect uh, as far as the atmosphere. The atmosphere was amazing. Um, the fall, we had some games here, but it wasn't quite to the level of this. Uh, both sides had fans pretty packed on both sides. Um, all in all, I mean, very exciting day of baseball. Uh, for me, it was a dream come true to be a part of this program and this university. So just walking out there this morning for batting practice, I tried to soak it all in. And then once the game starts, just back to baseball. Yeah, totally. We, we, I asked the guys yesterday, I said, we just got to start showing what type of team we're going to be, and it's really up to them. And all I asked them is that if they turn that scoreboard off, do you still play the game as hard as you can play it? And it kind of hit us with a reality check right away. It's 8 nothing out of the gate. Um, not too many teams. On opening day, you're real jacked up. You're excited. That's kind of a deflator. And a lot of teams, I think, give in, give up, and that just turns into an ugly game. I mean, we go into it. I could take a lot out of it. We got the tying run to the plate from down 8 nothing against a really good opponent. I mean, there's no moral victories, but you can take anything from it. I, t I take that for it, for sure. Yeah, that's what Harris has to be. He can do a little bit of everything. Um, when he stays within himself, knows what he is, knows what he can do, he's great. And today he was arguably the best player on the field, definitely for us, uh, just a spark plug. Uh, but also, as you can see, he can drive the ball over outfielders' heads and knock in runs. So if he's like that, that's a pretty good table-setting guy that we can have right there. Yeah, when people ask us about our, our pitching and who's a bright spot, Gabe's always one of the first names that comes to mind based on what he's done. Um, and actually, his last couple inter-squad uh, outings were a little rough, and I think I'm, I'm glad it happened because he, he took away from it, he learned from it, um, and he pitched. And same thing with our pitchers. We ask our guys, no matter what the score is, get in there and pitch and prove to me you deserve more time. And Gabe definitely did that today. That was pretty exciting to watch. Uh, usually opening day is hard. Uh, defensively the most, you have the least amount of reps, live at bats, stuff like that. But um, our error was kind of a fluky one, just to drop third strike, throw to first. Um, we couldn't handle, but um, good teams pick each other up. And for the very next batter, Oscar makes another great pitch, doesn't fall apart, does a good job, bails us out. And the middle infield turn, what I thought was one of the best defensive plays of the game to keep that game right where it was. So it was actually a good learning experience. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we'll just take it one game at a time. But uh, that was pretty – I mean, it's hard. Four-game series is very difficult in the sense of pitching, especially an opening weekend um, where everyone can't go as deep as hopefully they can go three, four weeks from now. But uh, we're excited about the pitchers we have coming up. I mean, shoes our guy tomorrow, and we'll go from there. But uh, it was really important for what Caleb, Oscar, and Gabe did today to – get some depth out of them um, and save a lot of other guys and hopefully they'll be able to bounce back as well. Brian was a spark plug there and I thought his, he had that hit early, but I thought his best at bat was in the ninth where he just kept fighting, fighting, keeping us alive. Uh, we, you know, we struck out quite a few times, uh, but we're talking a lot about two strike plan and just trying to fight to get the next pitch. He did that multiple times in that at bat and the whole goal was to get the tying run to the plate, and he was the one who was responsible, lastly, for getting that. So that, that was pretty impressive. After their starter was pulled, they brought the left hander, which was really good for them last year. And you had some easy at bats at the start, and then you guys made some adjustments and started to get the changes on a little bit. What were those adjustments you saw the hitters were making after seeing them the first time in the order? Well, I mean, they have a really good bullpen. Uh, that, and, uh, you know, Ash, Ashman was one of them. He's their lefty guy. And we had our back-to-back -back lefties coming up with men on. Uh, you know, it's hard. It's really hard to not see a guy, especially week one. You're going off last year's film when you're trying to attack him. So I, I don't fault our guys. We, we tried to go up there and attack him. He made some good pitches. That's why he's a good pitcher for them in, in those high-leverage spots. But really, it was just plugging along. And it was, you know, sticking with it, not letting that those two at-bats, three at-bats in a row spiral into more. And, 
there was a yeah the, the the adjustments are just staying in there and fighting and realizing that hey I can get this done in the box and I think they they just stuck with the plan uh, but he was tough man and honestly uh, McLeave's one of the they have a two headed monster at closer and just to get one of those guys in the game from an eight nothing game I'm sure at, at points they didn't think they were going to have to use those guys out of the pen so that's a minor victory within the game for us. CJ. Well, as you guys, I mean, he was one of the first guys you guys mentioned after the game. You could just see the athleticism um, from the minute he steps on the field. He looks, you know, like a pro body, and he's running around, and he has all the actions. I knew, uh, as I told you guys, defensively you're going to see he's he's as good as anyone that plays shortstop, and I know that's saying a lot, but I believe it from his uh, what he's shown me from the day I met him. Um, offensively is where he needs the at-bats, and it was good. He, he got on base a bunch of times today. Um, found his way, but I was, again, most impressed. He struck out once, but had a lot of two strike at bats and early in the fall from him, he was, those were pretty much three pitch, four pitch strikeouts and he battled, you know, and that's, it's going to be fun to watch him as he gets the opportunity to play day in and day out, what he could become. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the, you know, coming from the East coast, uh, the you know, first half of our seasons are either on the road or very cold where you got to be a real diehard fan to, to show up and come out. Uh, but that, that was one of the, the things that made this job and this place so attractive to me was the idea that the city and the town and the support you have and people actually do live and die by the program. Um, we're disappointed we couldn't win for them on the opener, but the amount of support, the fight, even that they didn't give up from, you know, you could hear them whether it was eight nothing, uh, them or rallying the tie and run at the plate. So it means a lot. You know, if you're going to be a really good program, you're going to need outside support. And that comes with a little bit of, you know, people are going to be upset if you're not good. And we understand that, but no one's going to be more upset than us. But all in all, the environment was, I mean, it's amazing to be a part of. And I'm just so happy to be part of this program. Thank you. Thank you.